that hard as much as it's about anything. Are we going to see Christian Pouls Perez, who was phenomenal? He came just a little bit short of winning that tournament. Baby Bull, um, Gonzalez ended up. <laughs> so, are we going to see this rematch? He wants to know. Tell us in a, in, in a brief description of what were your thoughts in 2021? Well, I think it was obviously it was a great season for us, and a lot of fighters emerged that we think are going to have a tremendous future. Christian Puas, obviously La Loba, always a favorite with us. Uh, David Martinez uh, from Mexico City, uh, and, uh, and some fighters from Ireland. And as you know, Ireland won the Copa Combate. So I think it was a perfect year to set us up for this year. That's the best way to say it. 2021 was just a great rung on the ladder as we climbed to be the best MMA organization in the world. Will we see other countries from Europe competing in Combate Global? Well, we're certainly going to see Spain well represented, as we have before. Kevin Cordere, who came in second in the Combate, uh, Copa Combate, he's an exciting fighter. He takes chances. Every part of his body is dangerous. We have a number of new French fighters. I think they're coming in. And I think the French fighters come in. Look, Mexican fighters come in. Everybody knows Mexican fighters are the worst Mexican fighter is a bad But I think France has got something to prove. So I think they come in like agitated. Like, oh, what do you, you don't think I can fight? I kick your head off your body. And we used to say you have to fight like a Mexican now. But then a good friend of mine from Guatemala said, no, you have to fight like a Chapin. It's about heart as much as it's about anything. So we talked about the men, but about, what about the women? The, the, the women's uh, MMA is developing worldwide. I think we're going to continue to look for great athletes. I think we're focused on 105 and 115. And you mentioned Gloria. Uh, we have found Chile to be a real MMA source of talent. So we're going to continue to look for great women fighters. They're more rare than the men because they're relatively new to the sport. We're looking to develop our own superstars. And I think 105 and 115 is where we're going to be, and you're going to see a lot of fights uh, in those weight classes, and we continue to look for others. I can't tell you we have built out a solid 125 or 135 division for women because we're still looking. But in terms of 105 and 115, again, I think we've got some of the best in the business. Last year we had 30 shows. We had the awards show. Will we have more shows? Yeah, but that's top secret. Okay. All right. We'll top, have to. Top secret. Top, We're going to have secret. to wait and see, ladies and gentlemen. Before I answer that, someone said, Campbell, what's your favorite country? That's, about that, to that, that's a nearly impossible question for me. Look, because one, I'm Scottish. I'm proudly Scottish. I'm a naturalized American, so I'm very proud of America. Mexico City, one of my favorite places. Guadalajara, one of my favorite cities. You know, Madrid is a great city, right? I mean, Madrid, Spain is a great country. Um, I, I don't know, the list is long. And we talked a little bit about the rematches, but he wants to know, are we going to see Christian Puas Perez, who was phenomenal, phenomenal. entered undefeated? He was the fan favorite, but unfortunately, he was the, the favorite to win it. But he came just a little bit short of winning that tournament. Baby Bull, um, Gonzalez <laughs> ended up in. So are we going to see this rematch, he wants to know. Yeah, I think so. Okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know I want to see that. Baby would... Bull did surprise. Let's talk about him for a little bit. You okay. know, first off, when your name has got baby in it, right, that means you're pretty new. And he's a, he's a baby face. He's a bit of a monster, but he is a baby face. And I think none of us expected him to fight a fight like that. You know, I think it's a fighter like uh, baby bull. The only thing he's missing is seasoning. The mm -hmm. only thing. He just needs a little more experience and he may prove to be unbeatable. What can Combate fans anticipate in 2022 when Combate returns back to the airways on March 24th? Uh, great question. I think that the difference you will see this year, just like baby bull, a lot of our fighters and our organization, what it needed was a little more experience. 
And I think that what you've seen in 2021 is the setup for 2022. You're going to see our exciting fighters return with more fights under their belt, with more experience, but still that drive and that hunger and that corazón, right? The, the heart is still beating fast in combate. But I think now you've seen uh, a level of experience that puts our fighters really on a world-class level.